what is up guys it's me kyra and welcome back to my channel so picking off a new vlog um not a whole lot going on today today is actually my birthday um it's but it's a wednesday so it's not really that exciting <laughs> and you guys saw that we celebrated uh last weekend so we're not really doing much today honestly which is another day uh full of work um but i am going to treat myself to get my nails done today um don't know if i'm gonna stay short or go kind of long um i've been rocking short nails for i don't know how long now like I've i just took a break because i was over um longer nails and i've been doing pretty good um but for some reason it's like once fall kicks around like once the holiday season starts to come around i want to go back long but i'm trying to decide now like am i ready to go long yet so um i'm headed there now and then after that um Dion is meeting me at the mall because I am going to get a second earring a second ear piercing uh, I know it's like super random but for my birthday I want to do something that I've always wanted to do but I've never gotten a chance to do and I have wanted a second earring hole for as long as I can remember like literally since I was a kid since I was a teenager I have always wanted a second earring hole um and so today I'm going to go get it done <laughs> why y'all i'm like i feel like such a chicken like i'm trying to like calm myself i don't know i have a pretty um low pain tolerance so just anything that that i that would make me feel uncomfortable just makes me anxious in general um but i feel like my thought is is if i can get waxed i can take a ear piercing you know I will probably just go ahead and just go to like a Claire's or something. I was considering going to like an actual uh, piercing salon because I um, had read that going to a professional uh, piercing salon where they actually pierce your ear with a needle as opposed to with the gun is actually better for you. But I've actually seen videos of, of the piercing with the needle and I'm like, nah bruh. I can't, <laughs> I can't even do it. I'll just take my L and go to Claire's and hope for the best. Um, I did also read though that the needle was better um, for areas that have the cartilage. So although a needle was, basically although the needle is the, you know, it's the best way in general to get your nail, your ears pierced. Um, if it's just like on the lobe area where there's no cartilage, you know, the gun isn't, it's, there's not as much risk with the gun on an area that doesn't have any cartilage like my earlobes so I should still be um be okay because I'm just getting like the normal you know just one right here um done I would love to get I don't know what it's called but like the try like the try piercing up here I think that that is so cute and I would love to get that but baby steps I gotta take baby steps I may do that one day but until then my little baby uh second ear low piercing will have to do <laughs> So guys, I kept them short. I just went with my simple short nails. I love this color though. It's the shade Hot Mocha from the brand La Palm. So it's like a really pretty gray toned nude. Perfect for fall. I love it. Okay, so now I'm done with that. And that took like 30, 40 minutes. It was like really short. Um, now time to head to the mall. So we're at this place called Piercing Pagoda. And Kara's sitting in the chair because she is about to get her ears pierced. Her second hole that she was wanting all her life. And she's so excited. Oh my gosh. I'm really nervous. My, my heart is actually racing right now. <laughs> That's because, to be honest, I don't have a, I don't have a, I have a pretty low pain tolerance. But I'm going to do it. I'm not going to take them out. If I can ride an upside down roller coaster, I can do this. Did you say the thing? <laughs> I'm gonna say that, babe. I'm supposed to be like, oh yeah, you're right. I'm supposed to be good. Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah. That's all right, right? So it depends on, you know, like what you're wearing, you know? If you're gonna ever start to be strong, then I wanna be a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I do. Yeah, sometimes I wear them a little bit smaller. I think that's a little better. Are you sweating? No, you're sweating, baby. No, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, we can mark that spot, that right there. The distance. Oh. This is the one closer to the earring. Mm -hmm. 
great to me. Okay. I do like that one. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just, uh, let me let me just get real quick together. Quick. Okay. Thank you. You like it? here. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and do the second one. This one does hurt usually a little bit more. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Just because it's the second one, so you know what you're anticipating. Oh, okay. Increased pain sensitivity. Okay. You don't need to hold my hand? Oh, now you want to hold my hand. Okay. 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 Okay.
it makes my eyes pop a little bit more you know since i had baby curly lashes <laughs> basically it a bunch of organizing oh i also redid my office for the millionth time if you guys follow me on instagram then you guys already saw that but i can go ahead and show you guys whenever i get back home like how it looks now and every time i redo it i redo it for a different reason but I'll explain whenever I get back home why I redid it and then show you guys like how it's laid out now. But for now, just pulled up to Cheddar's and I'm gonna go grow up with the husband. I made it to made it to Cheddar's with this big head boy. So whenever you go to Cheddar's, Dion always makes this little concoction. So he'll take the New Orleans pasta, but replace the pasta with veggies, like he did there. So he'll have like all the chicken and shrimp and stuff, and then just put veggies under it. And then he added a piece of salmon. So obviously he's doing the very healthy option. How it tastes back? I don't know. I'm different. Different today? I haven't had this in a long time. That's what I said. I said we haven't been here in a long time. It's cool. I got one of my favorite meals. This is the buffalo chicken wrappers. But I get it with the sauce on the side. And fries. It looks super yummy. Remember how this used to be our place in undergrad? Y'all, when we were in college, this used to be me and y'all's place. Okay? We used to up, we used to live at... Thank you. Y'all, we used to live at Cheddar's. Yeah, two or three times a week. Oh, we were always here, I feel like. <laughs> All right guys, so I am back home. I am so exhausted and I don't know why, <laughs> I'm so tired. I came home, oh, before I came home though, I stopped, I had to stop at the beauty supply store because I had to get some false lashes to have a client. Um, I actually have a couple clients coming up, makeup clients. Um, so I need to restock on my lashes. And then after I left the beauty supply store, I went and ran um, to Walmart to stock up on my fall and winter wardrobe, AKA leggings. I literally, guys, I bought three pairs of them and I'm gonna go back and buy like four more pairs because am I the only person who literally lives in leggings? This time of year when it's cold outside, I, I live in leggings and sweatpants. I prefer leggings more often than sweatpants, but typically it's leggings. Um, and I like to have tons of them because I am wearing them all the time. So I just picked up three pairs to, um, when I just went, but I actually plan on going back. I also picked up, I found this really cozy jacket or pullover. Okay, so funny thing. Okay, so I was in the women's section and I had found this jacket and it was like 20 bucks, I believe. But now I picked it up. And I kept on walking and I walked through the boy section and they had the exact same jacket you guys in the boy section for 12 bucks. Now granted it's kid sizes but because I, you know, of my, because of my size, I can actually fit kids clothes, well boys clothes. And so I just got this jacket in a kids, in a boy, you know, the kids boys XL and it fits perfectly. So I actually saved eight bucks because I went to the boy section instead of the women's section. And it actually fits perfectly. It comes all the way down to my, it's long enough. So that was perfect. And that was um, a good deal. Again, it was like 12 bucks and it's super cozy. Like it feels so good. So this will be a good like casual pullover just to wear whenever I wear like my leggings, and, like a t-shirt uh, and things like that. And then I also randomly, okay, so again, while I was in the boys section, because you guys know, I like to get creative, right? And so I was in the boys section, you know, looking around. I did find this really cool little combo. Okay, so um, in the um, in the boys section, they have boys sweatshirts and sweatpants for six bucks. I believe it's five ninety four to be exact. It's five forty seven. Never mind. It's five forty seven. So it's like five fifty basically. Okay, so they have like the crew neck sweatshirts and the and then the sweatpants. So I found these um, really pretty maroon sweatpants. Again, they're like $5.50. Um, and I got the boys pants in an XL and they're actually boys jogger pants. So of course, you know, they're slim at the ankle. Um, but these are a size XL boys jogger pants for $5.50. And then I found this really cool matching sweatshirt. And this is also $5.50, you guys. So this one has a really cool like gray camo print and then the sleeves are maroon. And I tried it on and I got a size medium in the, no this is size large. I got a large in um, the shirt. Um, they didn't have an XL, which if I had an XL probably would have been the perfect size because the large is just a smidge too short on the arms. But it's an easy fix so I can easily just roll the sleeves up. 
you know, I pop on a watch and like a little bracelet or whatever and call it a day. Um, but I do like the fit, like the overall fit of the large. It's a really cool little set, the joggers in the sweatshirt for 10 bucks. So this will definitely be a cool little travel. Honestly, it'll be a really cool little travel outfit. Um, just to have for you know whenever it's getting colder. Of course, got my candles lit and everything. I'm actually sitting here watching some TV um, and also uploading my Boohoo Fall Haul. Okay, while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and pop some chicken in the oven just so it could be ready for whenever Dion gets home. Um, if you guys, you guys may not know this, but I actually hate to cook. I do not like to cook whatsoever. Actually, Dion is a cook in our family. Um, I hate it. Cooking to me is a chore that I don't like to do. Um, I don't get pleasure out of it and or enjoy it. But I do it occasionally because, of course, Dion loves for me to cook every now and then. He knows I'm not a cook, but he's like, you know, but every now and then if you can just cook a little some some, I'm good. And then I'm very, very, very excited because this weekend I'm actually going to Houston to get my hair done. And I am so excited. And I am very, very, very excited, you guys, because I have not rocked my natural hair since March. So it's been April, May, June, July, August, September, October. Seven months since I have worn my hair out. And that's just more so because whenever it's, um, like whenever it warms up here, especially here in Texas, it gets like literally spring, summer, it's super humid here. For me, the more humid it is, the less I wanna wear my hair out just because if it's humid, I step outside, my hair gets puffy, you might have to worry about breathing. And I, it's just too much work. So the plan is that I plan on going to get um, my hair cut. And, sorry, y'all, it's my phone. I plan on getting my hair cut and shaped um, into a bob. Also another reason why I haven't got my hair done since April is because I've been trying to just grow out my hair. My hair actually goes pretty fast, honestly, and it's crazy that I was, this time last year, I was in the short, short, short pixie cut, um, and now I basically have a bob. So I'm going this weekend to get my relaxer retouched and then um, get my hair cut. And then on Tuesday, I have a colorist that I've actually been to before. She's based in Dallas. Her name is Maddie. I love her. I have I went to her a couple years ago whenever I first um, tried out blonde hair. And I just, I just love, love, love her coloring style and coloring technique. So she knows how to do foils and balayage and painting and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go to her on Tuesday and hopefully get my hair colored on Tuesday, because I'm over the black, you guys. I'm over the black hair. So, that's my my hair plan, my hair goal. So we'll see kind of how everything works out. I don't have super thick hair, but I have a full head of hair. And um, I have very healthy hair. I've actually never struggled with unhealthy hair at all. Um, and I have very healthy and very strong hair, so it's all up to her discretion and kind of what she thinks. But if she says it's okay, I'll just go get my hair colored. If not, I'll just do something else, I guess. I don't really know. <laughs> Um, oh, but I did want to show you guys real quick. I had told you guys about how I redid my office yesterday. So I'm just gonna give you guys a quick little snippet of basically what I did. So here is the office, which like I said, I have redone this room at least, at least like five or six times now. It's like I'm never satisfied, but I think, I think this is it, okay? I have a few more things I have in mind to do in here, but I think that this is pretty much it. So, if you guys remember, okay, so this is all the same, right, from my last um, office tour, right? This is all the same. The big difference is that this vanity over here was up against this wall, and then this table here was kind of going um, perpendicular to it to create an L shape. And basically what I did is I moved the vanity from this wall over here up against the window because I felt like it was just, it wasn't the best use of space. Um, this room was very, very weird because I only really have two walls and that really sucks. Like it's just this wall and this wall and then one huge window and then this wall right here is just a closet. So um, I felt like having the vanity over here was, a, was just not the best use of space. And because I really want to do more fashion type videos, I needed a blank wall. And so what I had did is I was like, okay, why don't I just go ahead and move the vanity in front of, you know, the window and just have, you know, that there because that makes a lot more sense. And then I can use this wall as like the blank empty wall whenever I want to do, you know, either fashion videos, or even whenever I wanna pull back out the backdrop to do like my um, 
my makeup videos with the traditional backdrop, I can easily use this wall here and put the backdrop up against the wall and then film, you know, facing this way. And then I had this, there I am, hey y'all, excuse how I look, I look a mess. Um, but I had this full length mirror downstairs in the garage that I have been using as a prop in like some of my other videos. Um, and so I was trying to find something to put over here in this space and I was like, oh, let me go ahead and just put in or pop in, you know, that mirror right over here in this space right there. I still am obsessed with the color scheme of this office in this space. I love the black, white, and gold and all the colors. It just looks so good. I love the rug. I love everything else. Um, and I just love the openness of this now. Like it just looks a lot more, I don't know, it just looks a lot better. I'm gonna just leave it here for now, leave this here for now and figure it out later, but that's basically what we are working with. And I've showed you guys that. Now it's time for me to chill out on the couch. I'm actually sitting here watching um, My Wife and Kids, which is like one of my favorite shows. It is so freaking funny. <laughs> I love that show. I'm gonna sit here and chill and catch you guys tomorrow.